It's no use arguing, Hewitt. I've made up my mind. They go at the end of the week. But, Mr. Roberts, they've been with us for 35 years. Then I'm telling you to do what you should have done 35 years ago. Sack them. With the utmost respect, sir, we don't do that sort of thing at Webster's. Maybe you didn't, Mr. Hewitt, but you're going to have to do a lot of things you didn't do before. Like making a profit, for example. It's difficult to explain things to an outsider. Uh, you'll forgive me for calling you that, Mr. Roberts. For what I've seen of this firm, I take it as a compliment. Old Mr. Webster, our founder, prided himself on the way he looked after his staff. Well, pity he didn't pride himself more on looking after his business. Then he wouldn't have had to sell out to me, would he? Mr. Desmond and Mr. Davenport have been with us for 35 years. I think they deserve some special consideration. They've taken money under false pretenses long enough. That's all the consideration they'll get from me. You think I'm a hard man, don't you, Hewitt? But, uh, of course not, sir. You think I should keep those two old duffers on just because they've been with us for donkey's years? <laughs> well, there's no sentiment in business, and I'm in it for the money. I'm going to prune dead wood, but reward efficiency. There is very little dead wood, sir. And even less efficiency, from what I can see. Now, I want them out tomorrow. Pay them to the end of the month, if you like, but get them out. It's dangerous to have people under notice handling large sums of money. You can trust both Mr. Davenport and Mr. Desmond implicitly. Hmm. They haven't got enough sense to fiddle. But never mind. They go tomorrow and then this new bloke Jackson takes over the accounts department. Do you think he's a wise choice, sir? Eh? He's only been with us a few weeks and Mr. Davenport is not very happy with him. Oh, if Davenport's not happy with him, that's the finest recommendation I could wish for. Oh, good morning, Mr. Davenport. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Mr. Davenport. Everyone stop work. All go and look out of that window. Now, whose car is that in my parking space? Well, that's Peter Fawcett's red mini, Mr. Davenport. Fawcett? What department's he in? Uh, Mr. Desmond, sir. I What's see. What's going on here? Why are you out ah, of your places? How did this happen, Jacko? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Davenport. I didn't see you there. How did what happen? Someone's car in my place. It's not good enough, Jacko. Uh, Mr. Davenport, I'd be obliged if you would pay me the courtesy of addressing me by my correct name. I am your second in command, and the staff are already beginning to copy your mode of address. Oh, don't be fussy, man. That car out there belongs to a chap in Desmond's section. But is it necessary for all the staff to look at it? We're very behind. You've got no sense of proportion, have you, Jacko? This is Desmond's revenge. He hasn't got over me hanging my coat on his hook last week. Well, don't stand there gawping, you lot. You should be ashamed of yourselves for letting it happen. Now, go on. Get back to work. Come to my office, Jacko. I want you. Yes, Mr. Devon. Now then. Uh, can we go through the cash inwards figures, Mr. Davenport? Yeah. Before we do that, I want to see your cheque issues ledger. Why? It, because I haven't checked through it since you've been here. But first of all, let's sort Master Desmond out, shall we? Eh? <laughs> uh, Mr. Desmond, please. Ah, oh, such an offensive colour for a car. Red. Yeah. Hello? Mr. Desmond, please. Mm. Mm. Not in yet. It's a quarter past nine. It... Yes, well, all right, all right. When he eventually arrives, tell him I want him. Pronto. Ah, quarter past nine, and he hasn't done a stroke of work yet. We are not much better. Uh, can we make a start now? What's in the post? Anything exciting? Just the usual complaint from suppliers waiting for payment. Well, you know my system. Put the ones who scream the loudest on top of the pile. With a proper system, we could speed things up tremendously. Accuracy before speed, Jacko. This isn't the Olympic Games. Eh, uh, oh, here... Here's a proper stinker from Thompson & Co. addressed to me personally. Can you get their check off today? If more deserving cases are left, yes. Good, good. I'll leave it to you then. Oh, look, there's old Desmond creeping up the stairs now. <laughs> Five and twenty past nine. What an example. Oh, good morning, Mr. Desmond. I'm late. Good morning, Mr. Desmond. Damn train broke down. A message from Mr. Davenport, sir. Yes? He says when you finally get in... What? ...would you ring him? Insolent devil... Let's see if you'll say it to me face. <laughs> it's not fair. Davenport's department are going to get all the fun again. Why don't they fight up here for a change? Where is he? Good morning, Mr. Desmond. Go and good morning me, Jackson. Where's Davenport? Going home already, Desmond. You don't overdo it in your department, do you? I haven't had a chance to take my coat off yet. I just received your insolent message. Insolent? It's so long since I spoke to your chap. Just after nine, I really forget what I said. It was perfectly polite and inoffensive, though. He must have muddled it up. Poor devils don't get proper supervision. 
Why shouldn't they get proper supervision? If the manager doesn't come rolling in until half past now... My train was late. Well, you should allow for that, shouldn't you? Allow for it, you see. Catch the earlier train. A manager has a duty to set an example. That's my philosophy. I thought your philosophy was to be as rude and unpleasant as possible. What would you want to see me about? Oh, yes, yes. You'd better come into my office. All right. You've got a chap in your department called Fawcett. So? Drives a red mini. Smart little car. Often admired it. Yeah, she never had much taste. He's stuck it in my parking space. <laughs> He's what? He's parked it in my parking space. <laughs> what are you cackling about? Thank you for sharing the joke. I appreciate it. I want it moved. There's plenty of room elsewhere. I've been parking in the same spot for 16 years. It's 20 years for squatters' rights, Davenport. Well, you just have to get in earlier, won't you? First come, first serve. You're telling me to get in earlier? <laughs> you brightened up my morning. I've had my laugh. I must get back now. Are you going to move it? No. Uh, just the sort of cooperation I expected. Then I haven't disappointed you. Wait till I tell the chaps in my section. They'll enjoy the joke. I enjoy the joke. Jacko! What is it now? What are you doing? You asked me to do the Thompson check. Yes, well, there's more important things to worry about. Uh, attention, everyone, please. <laughs> Sally. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Now, this department has had a body blow today, but it's not going to happen again. Who's first in in the morning? Well, I suppose it's me, Mr Davenport. Right, Brian. You're our first line of defence. Now, when you arrive tomorrow, drive straight in the car park and book my space until I arrive. But I haven't got a car. But you can stand there and guard it, can't you? Now, don't let me down. I'll soon be recommending the annual increases, and I'm vindictive. Yeah, so that's all, thank you. All right, then. Get on with your work. <laughs> Who did that? Now, Jacko. Uh, yes, Mr. Davenport. Drop everything and see Fawcett yourself. Get him to move his wretched car as a favour to you. And the rest of the work just waits, I suppose. If you pull your finger out, it won't have to wait very long, will it? And when am I going to get your ledger to check, eh? <laughs> get on with your work, Brian. Oh, Davenport and Desmond, like a couple of kids, aren't they? I mean, last week it was who gets served first with a morning tea. Yeah. And then we had that fight over the coat hanger. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm not standing in that car park for Davenport or anyone. I bring you greetings, gentlemen of the L to Z letters. Ah, oh, the very chat. Hello, Brian. Don't hello, Brian, me, Peter Fawcett. Because of you, I've got a mount guard in the car park at the crack of dawn tomorrow and stop you violating Davenport's parking space. <laughs> if I arrive first, I'll wait for you. Where's old misery got... Uh, there you are, Mr. Jackson. I uh, want to see you, Fawcett. Uh, could you take these checks first for Davenport's second signature? Good Lord. Oh, all these. Mm -hmm. Desmond's had us on overtime. Oh, that means Davenport will have us on it. If we were a bit more up to date, overtime wouldn't be necessary. If you'll uh, wait a minute, Fawcett, I'll get these signed and then you can take them oh, back. Oh, no, no, no. Desmond won't let me do that. He says it's your job to return them to us. Oh, like a couple of kids. Mm, and a good thing too, old boy. They both have to sign the firm's cheques. Think what a fiddle they could work if they got together. Oh, no fear of that. I uh, uh, want a word with you, Fawcett. Uh, certainly, old boy. Less of the old boy, if you don't mind. Oh. For peace and quiet, please move your car. Ah, it's become a political issue, I'm afraid. Desmond has ordered me to stay put. Can't bite the hand that recommends the old risers. Wish I could help, uh, old boy. Cheers. Damn. Wasn't that Fawcett? Uh, yes, he, uh, he brought these cheques for second signature. Oh, damn the cheques. What about his car? Mr Desmond has instructed him to leave it where it is. Would you believe that a grown man could act like that? I'll bring the checks in. I'll do them now. You call out the authorizations as I sign. Uh, here. Here. Where did all these come from? They have been on overtime. <laughs> and we didn't know? Well, our intelligence to have picked that up. It isn't as if his security is all that good. Get the staff to keep their ears open. The odd word dropped carelessly in the washroom should have put us on to him. Can we start now? We're all on overtime from tonight. Now get it organized. Well, come on, man, come on. What are you waiting for? Air and Fertilisers Limited, £783.15 and six. Not so fast, not so fast. Janet? Yes, Mr Hewitt? I've signed my post. I'll collect it now, sir. I'll be able to catch the last... Oh, Mr Hewitt, hmm? are you all right? You look very pale. Oh, I'm upset, Janet, that's why. I've got a most unpleasant task to perform, and I'm dreading it. I've got to give Mr. Desmond and Mr. Davenport the sack. Oh, no. Our new ruthless policy. Who's taking their place? Mr. Jackson, Davenport's chief clerk. 
But he's only been with us a few weeks. Long enough to impress our new managing director. Well, let's leave the worst until last. Send Mr. Jackson in first, would you? Cooper Seafoods, 176 pounds, three shillings. Correct, six pounds, three shillings. Darwin oh, and... We've had that account some years. They send me a bottle of wine every Christmas. Darwin oh, and Trout. I donated to Desmond's section for their Christmas party. Darwin <laughs> and Trout, 49 oh, pounds, They won't get a sniff of it this sixpence. Christmas. What do you say? Forty-nine pounds, five shillings and sixpence. Forty-nine, five, is it? Jacko! Eh? I've got him. I've got him by the short and curlies. What? Look, they've, they've spelt forty with a U. Oh, Desmond can have all these checks back. I'm not signing any more. We've a lot to get through. Must we waste time on trivialities? Trivialities? They're supposed to be double-checked before they come to me, aren't they? Well, I've spotted one mistake. There might be others. Let him go through them again. Take them back. Take them back and tell him I'm not prepared to lower my standards, even if he is. He won't like it. I know. <laughs> it's the only redeeming feature of the whole sordid affair. <laughs> yes, well... It... I'm sorry to disturb you, Mr Davenport. There's a message for Mr Jackson. Yes. Will you go and see Mr Hewitt? Right away, please. So there you are, Mr. Jackson. After tomorrow night, you will be in complete charge of the combined account sections, A to K, L to Z. Uh, 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 congratulations. Thank you for the trust you've placed in me, Mr. Hewitt. It's Mr. Roberts you have to thank, not me. Not that I don't share his confidence in you, of course. Uh, I'll be uh, signing cheques from tomorrow, then. Yes, I'm seeing to that. Oh, it'll be quite a shock for poor Desmond and Davenport. <laughs> the old fools. I've got no sympathy for them. It's my unpleasant duty to break the news. Oh, I'll do it for you if you like. I don't mind. I'm sure you wouldn't. But no, it's something I must do. Oh, when you get back, would you kindly ask them if they can spare a moment? Spare a moment? You don't expect them to be working, do you? They're probably at each other's throats right now. Where is he? Why, hello, Desmond. Any words you can't spell? <laughs> Just ask my office boy. He'll help you. Can we go into your office? Of course, yes. Come on in. Sit down. Thank you. Cigarette? I don't smoke. Ah, since when? My eighth day. Ah, <laughs> that explains it. Explains what? All these mistakes you've been making. Misspelling, missing trains. The satisfying smell of rich tobacco doesn't worry you, I hope. What game are you playing with these checks? Put them right, have you? One minor spelling error. No error is minor. If there's anything wrong, however slight, I must send it back. I have no choice. I see. You get a good view of the car park from here, don't you? Is that your car? The one behind Fawcett's Mini? Uh, I'm sorry if I was a bit hasty in sending those checks back, old man. Uh, haven't been at my best this morning. Ah. Well, I'll... I'll see young Fawcett when I get back. He should know better than to park in your space. Thank you. Right, well, I'll sign these now. Did you have that work-study man in your section last week? Sent him away with a flea in his ear. Oh. <laughs> if I haven't found the right way to do things after 35 years, then I never will. Exactly. <laughs> yes? Ah, good, both of you. Uh, would you go and see Mr Hewitt at once, please? Both of us? Yes, both of you. Uh, sit down, gentlemen. Uh, Thank, sit you. Down. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, uh, well, well, well. Uh, this is nice. Uh, glad we've made your day. Well, what do you want to see us about? Ah, straight to the point, as always. <laughs> well, well, well. Oh, I'm forgetting my manners. Uh, uh, a cigarette, Davenport? Oh, three kind of you, thank you. Uh, Desmond? Thank you. Oh, no, 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 I, I, I've given it up. Oh, admirable. I, I wish I could. <clears throat> Allow me, Davenport. Thank you. Well, well, well. <clears throat> uh, how's things, uh, department-wise? Have our statements gone out yet? Of course not. Oh, we never get them out till the 15th of the month. No, quite. Unfortunately, Mr Roberts feels that this just isn't good enough. Well, well let him try and do better. Is this what you wanted to see us for, to moan about the statements? Uh, not exactly. No, no. Uh, how long have you been with us, Mr Desmond? Thirty-five years. Uh, we both started on the same day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he was late as usual, so I'm the senior. Damn <laughs> trains. Thirty-five years? Yes. As long as that. <laughs> well, well, well. I, I suppose you'll be thinking about retiring fairly soon. 
retire? Well, I mean, whatever for? Well, I mean, after 35 years. I... Well, I'll think about it when the time comes, <laughs> which won't be for another five oh, years. at least. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Desmond. Mm. Mr. Davenport. Now, you know me. However unpleasant the task, I, I, I don't shirk it. If you want us to serve on the staff outing committee again, then forget it. It poured with rain last year, and they held me personally responsible. <laughs> uh, it isn't that. No. Uh, gentlemen, Mr. Roberts has asked that I give you, each of you, an envelope. Uh, here. Oh, letter. Thank you. Private and confidential? What's this about, then? Yeah, well, can we open them now? Uh, please do. Oh. Eh? Oh. Are they both the same? Uh, yes. But why, Hewitt? What can I say? I, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm very sorry. You're sorry? One month's notice after 35 years and not a word of explanation. Why, Hewitt? Why? It's nothing against you personally. We've always done our best for the company. It's you just have. the new order of things, gentlemen. Mr Roberts intends to completely reorganise the firm and he's starting with your sections. Oh, oh he would. Yeah. We're going to amalgamate both departments and go over to a computer. Ah, oh, Mum Computer. Robert. This, of course, will call for an entirely new kind of chief accountant. Yeah. A computer programmer. An expert in data processing. You see, jobs that you can't do, of course. We can't speak Hindustani either, but we never pretended no. we could. No, we're accountants, not electronic engineers. You no, keep on taking no. this thing personally, gentlemen. Well, what do you... It's just that your old jobs will simply cease to exist. So we're to be kicked out in a month's time. Well, uh, I'd like to talk about that. <clears throat> you see, this is purely an idea, of course, a little suggestion that Mr Roberts asked me to pass on. Oh, spit it out for heaven's sake. You won't take this personally? Well, as long as it doesn't affect us personally, of course we won't. Uh, Mr Roberts feels that it would be more convenient all round if you were to leave um, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow, <clears throat> not this very instant. We can stay till tomorrow. It might be inconvenient for Mr. Roberts, but I intend to work out every damn minute of my month's notice. So do I. We yes. were just trying yes. to spare you the embarrassment. Oh, yes. Uh, tomorrow, your successor takes over. It's, um, <clears throat> Jackson, your it, chief clerk, Davenport. Jackson? Jackson? The five-minute <laughs> wonder? Good Lord. <laughs> well, he's a qualified computer programmer. You All know. I know is he's no damn good at figures. You know what I found in his check ledger today? What? It, Hmm? It was, you never mind it. I realise that few men can measure up to your high standards, Mr. Davenport, but he is Mr. Robert's choice and we must accept oh, him. Uh, warts and all. <laughs> hmm? <clears throat> yes. Well, you can work under him for your last month if you wish. All right, all right, all right, all right. You win, you win. <laughs> all right, I'll go tomorrow. So will I. Don't ask us to come back, though, when he makes a mess of it, will you? Uh -huh. eh? Because when I leave, I leave. Uh, if you go, I go. Yes. Of course, of course. Yeah. Well, 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 splendid, absolutely splendid. In spite of the delicate nature of that little episode, gentlemen, I, I think we all handled it very well, very well indeed. You sound like a butcher congratulating a pig he's just slaughtered. Uh, no hard feelings, I hope. Not against you personally, Hewitt, no. My quarrel's against the ventriloquist, not his dummy. Oh. Well, unless you've got any more good news for us, I'd like to get back to my department. Quite. Uh, yes, of course, uh, thank you. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, after you, after you. Well, Oh, dear. Have they gone? Uh, yes, Mr. Roberts. They leave tomorrow. Ah, good. <clears throat> Any trouble? They took it better than I did. Hmm. <laughs> I've never had to dismiss anybody before. Well, you'll get plenty of experience with me. Hey, here, wait a minute. 35 years. This will hit the pension fund, won't it? They never went over to the new scheme, sir. I think they'll get about £4.17 and sixpence a week. <sighs> Thank goodness for that. Perhaps we could afford to be generous, sir. Oh, yes, 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 sir. You'll be organising a collection, won't you? Put me down for a pound. In fact, as a matter of policy for the future, you can always put me down for a pound. Not going out tonight, then, Mr Desmond? No, I, uh, I'm not in the mood for it somehow, Mrs Harris. You have a nice quiet evening at home for a change. To do you good. Uh, Mrs Harris, mm -hmm. uh, I'm afraid I might have to give these rooms up. Mr. Desmond, we haven't upset you, have oh, we? Oh, no. Uh, we think of you as one of the family, you know. Well, it's uh, a question of cash. Cash? Yes, I, uh, I retire from my job tomorrow on a very small pension. I'll be forced to find something cheaper. Uh, then we'll have to come to a new arrangement, that's all. We can't lose you for the sake of a few shillings. Perhaps if I cut down on the food... Oh, that's very kind of you, but... Now, not another word. It's all settled. Oh, the place wouldn't be the same without you. Oh, who can that be at this time of night? All right, I'm coming. Davenport. 
Port? What the devil? Show him up, Mrs. Harris. He must come the night we have kippers, mustn't he? Let some air in. Oh, where's my jacket? Ah. In here, sir. Thank you. See you later then, Mr. Desmond. Thank you. Good evening, Davenport. I uh, didn't expect to see me, eh? Hey. Oh, do you mind if I sit down? Those stairs. Oh, of course, do. Thank you. Uh, well, in view of today's bombshell, I thought you and I ought to have a little talk away from the office, Desmond. Yes? How much do you pay for these rooms, by the way? Why? Mm, oh, just comparing them with mine, that's all. Full bond? Apart from a midday meal during the week? Same as me. Six pounds ten? Seven. Mind you, the food is first class. Yes, you can smell kippers halfway up the street. She's a nice-looking woman. Who? Oh, Mrs. Harris. Oh, yes, I, I suppose she is. How does she fit in with the uh, <clears throat> arrangements? Sir? She lives downstairs with her husband. Ah. Why? What did you think? Hmm? Hey, oh, nothing. No, no, nothing, nothing. No, just trying to justify that extra ten bob a week, Kipper. Oh, that's all. Really? Uh, how are you going to manage on your pension? Well, I shall have to get a job. What as? Father Christmas? They, uh, they advertise a preparation for darkening the hair. Supposed to make one look years younger. I, I think I'll try it. Catch me tarting myself up. Oh, it doesn't work miracles. What did you want to see me about? Can we go somewhere more cheerful? This room gives me the creeps. For seven pounds a week, she might have given you some decent wallpaper. I thought that brown varnished stuff went out years ago. There's a little pub down the road where I go sometimes. Oh, I never go in pubs, but it sounds better than this. <laughs> All right, come on, then. Evening, Mr. Desmond. Cold enough for you? Evening, George. That table there, Davenport. All these years I've known you, I'd never have put you down as a boozer. Ah. <sighs> I have the odd pint of bitter, that's all. Yeah. I suppose that room would drive anyone to drink. Do you want a drink? Oh, I wouldn't mind, yeah. Then. What do we do? Buy our own? Well, it's usual for each to buy a round. Oh, well, let's be usual then. Uh, I'll have a large brandy. You realise how much they cost, I hope. Well, I offered to buy my own. Well, as long as you don't think it's sixpence a pint. Two large brandies, please, Rosie. Right, Mr. Desmond. Today's events justify departure from normal. I should say. Hmm. I suppose if I wait long enough, you'll eventually tell me what you want to talk about. Jackson knows nothing about bookkeeping. Jackson? Here we are, gentlemen. Ah, thank you, Rosie. Um, there. Oh, thank you. Ah, well, bottoms up. Not with brandy, Davenport. Hmm? Sip it. It's very expensive. Oh. Now, um, uh, what's this about Jackson? You know he keeps the running totals of all the checks we make out. Mm-hmm. Well, I found an £18,000 error today. No. An £18,000 error. He brought forward £57,000 on one page and, like a fool, reversed the figures. On the next page, it's shown as £75,000. But that's sheer carelessness. And this is our new head of department. But isn't he supposed to cross-check his total with the authorizations? That would show up the error at once? Anyone with a basic knowledge of bookkeeping would have done so. He didn't. He's a computer programmer. They don't have to know how to add up. Are you going to tell Roberts? I am a favour, don't I? Well, they'll find it easily enough when the bank statement arrives. It'll show a difference of £18,000. Yes, well, uh, <clears throat> I'll, uh, I'll come to that. Uh, what sort of a job were you thinking of going after, Desmond? Well, there was one in the paper tonight. Messenger wanted by city firm would suit pensioner. I know the sort. You'll work like a horse for office boys' wages. Enough to take orders from some snotty-nosed kid at 16. Beggars can't be choosers. I don't care what I have to do to get some money. I was hoping you'd say that. Hmm? Uh, you ready for another? Well, it's not lemonade, you know. Oh, all right. Please yourself. Uh, uh, yes, there. yes, I'll have one. Come on, old man. Drink that up and I'll buy you another. No, 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 no. no. My turn, old boy. No, no, it's mine. Rosie! Oh, well, I can see defeat then. <laughs> you know, all these years I've worked with you, and I've only just found out your name is Alfred. <laughs> I never knew you were called Albert. Oh, call me Bert. Alfie, old boy. Burlington Bert. Oh, yes. <laughs> and um, Alfred the Great. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to have kept you, sir. <laughs> oh, good old Rosie. Thank there you, you are. <laughs> now, Rosie, two brandies. Uh, singles. Oh. I brought the bottle over. Thank you. There. 
first class, Rosie. Keep the change. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> Charming girl. Uh, Charming, Charming girl. Didn't think much of her when we first came in, but she looks all right now. <laughs> she usually does after the third glass. <laughs> Better than the rough we get in the office, eh? What? <laughs> Where do they get them from? <laughs> the best looker in my department is like a, a Russian female weightlifter. Oh, what, Bertha? Yeah. Big Bertha. <laughs> I think she's a man, dressed up, you know. <laughs> Kicked out after 35 years. Hundreds of thousands of pounds through our hands and never a penny short. More fool us. Have you noticed that old Roberts never bothers to look at any of the checks we take into him? He just signs them, just like that. I had noticed. He trusts us, that's why. And so he damn well should. So he damn well should. Never once have we given him a duff check to sign. So is Saxus. I bet that if we made a check out payable to ourselves, he'd sign it. There's no doubt about it. That's what we should do to teach the swine a lesson. We should make a check out payable to ourselves. For 18,000 pounds? Yes. Eh? Well, if we made it out for 18,000 pounds, it would cancel out Jackson's error. The books would balance and no one would be any the wiser. You're not serious. Why not? Do you find it... Hot in here? You're thirsty, that's your trouble, you know. Uh, Rosie, I... Oh, oh good Lord, I hadn't ordered yet. Uh... Landlord's compliments, sir. It would be when it's Albert's round. <laughs> that's very kind of him, yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, George. Hello. He wondered if you'd play the piano for us, Mr Desmond. What? You don't play the piano, do you, gentlemen? <laughs> a little. Oh, he's Go. too modest, sir. He's got a lovely touch. Oh, has he? Yeah, well, this I must hear. Well, come on, Desmond. Oh, I don't oh, know. Come on. Please, oh, come on. All right. Bring your drink, Davenport. What about it, then? What about what? Nine thousand pounds apiece. I, uh, I don't think so, thank you. Well, what would you like me to play? What about nobody wants you when you're old and grey? They're going tonight. No, I can't believe it. Shh, here he is. Oh, uh, good morning, Mr. Davenport. Good morning, Brian. Uh, I was ever so sorry to hear yes, about... Yes, thank you, Brian. Morning, Sally. Oh, Mr. Davenport, it's not true, is it? I'm going tonight, Sally, if that's what you mean. Oh. Now, where's Jacko? Not overcome with grief somewhere, is he? He's, um, in your office. Eh? Hey? Now, what do you think you're doing, Jacko? Oh, good morning. I'm uh, just moving my stuff in here ready for tomorrow. Then you can just move it out again. I don't leave till tonight. But you won't be doing much today, surely. That's none of your business. Now, get yourself and your tat out of here. Childish to the last. Pat, watch it, Sonny. Watch it. Petty, that's all. You're... Oh! Look where you're going, Jackson, can't you? Good morning, Davenport. Ah. Liberace. Oh, please, I can't tolerate your weak attempts at humour today. I got no sleep last night. Yes, well, I'm up and down when I've had a few drinks. All that stupid talk about a cheque. Yes, I've got it here. Sign it, would you? Pay cash the sum of £18,000. Oh, that's right. Go on, shout it round the office. I was speaking in a perfectly moderate voice. Yes, well, that's better. Now sign it. Look... I've been thinking. All right. I knew it. I knew you'd get cold feet. Go on, tear it up, tear it up. If you'd allow me to finish instead of cutting in in your usual overbearing manner, I was going to suggest we take this cheque in for Roberts to sign with a batch of others. Too risky to take it on its own. How else did you think I was going to do it? Oh, that's right. Take credit for my idea. You don't have to be a pub pianist to have brains, you know. Jacko, let's have today's cheques for signature. Ah, oh, uh, that won't be necessary. I'll be signing them myself. From today, the bank will accept my signature. We've still got our authority to sign, haven't we? It will be cancelled tonight. Well, it isn't cancelled yet, so let's have those cheques. We're signing them. Oh, very well. 
There you are. Thank you. Now, get back to your desk and do some work. Typical. By George. Whew, I thought we'd had it then. Yes, I heard. Yeah. Well, get your pen out and sign them. Shouldn't we check the authorities? Oh, no, somehow. I just don't care today. As you wish. You don't think we're pushing our luck with £18,000? Perhaps a, a more modest look, sum. Look, look, for the last time, it's got to be £18,000, otherwise the books won't balance. Tea up! Ah, oh, just what I wanted, Flo. Have you got one for Mr Desmond? Well, I can always find one for him. Here we are. Oh, thank, thank you, Flo. Oh, I was ever so upset to hear about you leaving us. It was sudden, wasn't it? If you've got to go, Flo, it's best that you go quickly. Oh, this place won't seem the same, that's all I can say. Look, I said to Betty this morning, they may have their funny little ways, I said, but they're perfect gentlemen. If you want a second cup, you know where to find me. One of the best, Star Flo. Yes, her tea's rotten, but she's all right. I suppose Roberts will replace her with a vending machine. <laughs> Might make better tea, but uh, <laughs> try and get a bit of slap and tickle from it. Good Lord! You've never tried anything like that with Flo, have you? Oh, long time ago. Not recently. And she uh, <clears throat> reciprocated? Yes, like you. I've got a lovely touch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she's forgotten all about it, though. I was quite hurt when she called us perfect gentlemen. <clears throat> Ooh, look at the time. If we're going to get these checks into Roberts, we'll have to get cracking. That's a firm date, then. I can rely on it, eh? Good. The computer will be here in two weeks' time, Jackson. Good. Once those two old fools have gone, I'll be able to get organised. They've sabotaged everything I've tried to do today. Yes, well, never mind. A few more hours and you'll be shot of them for good. <laughs> come in. Ah, come on in, Davenport. We were just talking about you. Yes, I can see Jackson blushing. Uh, would you sign these, please, Mr. Roberts? Uh, oh, no, I don't want you to do any checks today. I want Jackson to do them. Oh, oh as you wish. What shall I do with these, then? Tie them up? Uh, well, all right, if you've already signed them. Let me have them. Thank you. As I'm supposed to be in charge of accounts from today, perhaps I'd better check through them first. You'd better learn to add up first. Hey, Mr. Roberts, if I can't be trusted to do checks after 35 years, you'd better tear them up and let the Wonder Boy here do now, them. Now, look here, Davenport. All right, I'll... Jackson, all right. I know there's no need for anyone to check them, Davenport, if they're signed by you and Mr. Desmond. I'll do them now. Thank you very much, Mr. Roberts. Yes, I appreciate your confidence. I've done it. He signed it. Show me. Are your hands clean? As clean as yours. Hmm? Pay cash. The sum of £18,000 signed for and on behalf of Webster & Co Limited, A. Desmond Accountant, A. Davenport Accountant, M. Roberts, Managing Director. <laughs> Our passport to a golden retirement, <laughs> eh? <laughs> yes, I'll cash it this afternoon. <laughs> You'll cash it? That's right. Why you? Why not? You will come back, I suppose. <laughs> I have never during my entire business career been accused of dishonesty. I take the strongest possible exception to sorry, your remarks, Sorry, Desmond, sorry, sorry, As I can't be trusted, you cash the damn check. Oh, I'm quite happy that you should do it. I wouldn't go if you paid me. I see. So you want me to take the risk while you remain safely here? Eh? Oh, very well. What shall I get? Fives and ones? Uh, yes, and get a few ten bobs as well. I'd like to tip the canteen staff. Then you can give them the same as I do. I'll get some half crowns. And uh, how do you want it, Mr. Desmond? Oh, uh, fives and ones. And let me have a few half crowns, would you? Certainly, I. Oh. oh what's the matter? I didn't realise it was such a large sum. Um, I won't give you a moment, sir. There's nothing wrong with it, is there? Oh no, sir. Just a routine precaution. I'll be right back, sir. Yes. Uh, can we come in, Mr. Davenport? Oh, who have you got with you, Hewitt? The broker's man? Oh, well. Uh, May I introduce Mr. West and Mr. Timms from our staff magazine? How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Uh, they've uh, come to interview you. Oh, have they now? Uh, I'd uh, like a uh, shot of you at the desk, yes. Mr. Davenport. Certainly. Yes. Uh, hold that position. Like that, yes. yes. Oh, shall oh. I place my hand on his shoulder? Can you move to one side, Mr. Hewitt? Oh, yes. Uh, further over. Oh, right. Fine. 
Wonderful. Ah, now, tell us what it was like uh, 35 years ago, Mr Davenport. 35 years ago? Oh, yes. my word. Well, now, we worked in the hut, you know, behind the main warehouse in those days. Uh, I've got a photograph somewhere. Hang on a minute. Oh. Uh, keep it amongst my bits and... Ah, yes, here we are. Now, look, there's me in the stiff collar and the white face. Oh, now, nice. let's have a shot of you holding the photograph, Certainly, we? yes. I uh, oh, could are. be looking over his shoulder. If you could yes. move out of the way, Mr Hewitt. Oh, right. Yes. Wonderful. Perhaps it would be better if I left... Wonderful. Oh. Pop this old fool. Just one more, Mr. Davenport. One more, certainly. Yes, just a minute. Let me call my hair, will I? Oh, oh I damn it. Sure you... Just a moment, please. Of course. Hello, what is it? Davenport, it's me, Desmond, oh. speaking. It, 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 it'll ring me later, would you? I'll just I'm being interviewed, you see. Yeah. Right, just Now, hold it. Uh, wonderful. Thank yes. you. Uh, <laughs> getting back to when you started, how much did you earn? I've always kept my first wedge packet. Yeah. Oh, look at this, West. Eight shillings a week before deductions. Well, Sixty know. hours a week, I sweated for that. <laughs> oh, dear, they won't leave you alone, will they? Hello, what is it? Davenport, it's me, Desmond. Listen carefully. Well, it's a bit inconvenient oh, at the moment. Can you ring me back? No, I can't. I'm still at the bank. What are they doing? Printing it? Now, could you hold the wage packet in your left hand, Mr. Davenport? Uh, in the left hand. Wait a minute, like that? Yes. yes. Davenport, hello, Davenport. hello. Oh, nice. yeah. oh, I'm sorry, Desmond. Uh, what were you saying? They've Oh, is that Mr. Desmond? Oh, couldn't you get him over? Desmond, yes. Hey, Desmond, I say, uh, look, I've got the House Magazine boys here. They want to interview us. Oh, Will you time. listen? They've queried the check. Uh, what? I'm phoning for the bank manager's office. you will be back in a minute. We forgot. They query all cash checks in excess of a thousand pounds. Yes. Uh, well, it's no problem. Uh, get him to phone me. I'll okay. That's just it. They know Jackson's in charge and they intend to phone him. Are you still there? I'm thinking. It's all right for you. I'm the one with the check and... I must go. He's coming back. God, dear. Oh, nothing wrong, I hope. Wrong? Oh, no, no, no. Of course not. Oh. Uh, yeah. I've got a great idea for a picture. <laughs> Follow me. Ah, oh, Jackson. Yes, what is it? Dear old Jackson. Hey, uh, gentlemen, allow me please to present my most worthy successor. Oh. Hey, what's your first name? Uh, uh, per Percival. Why? Percy Jackson. How do now, you do? I couldn't Hello. be handing over to a nicer fellow than old Percy. Uh, tell you what, tell you what, take a picture of a shaking hand. Oh, okay. hmm? that's good. Yeah. Would, would, would someone Wonderful. please tell me what's going on? Yeah, I'll get it for you, Percy. Hey? Uh, it's all right. Well, it's like yes? Bennington's Bank here. Yeah? Mr. Jackson, okay. please. Speaking. Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Jackson. What? Usual routine precaution. Mr. Desmond has presented a cheque for £18,000 cash. All right to pay him? Oh, yes. Sorry about that. I uh, should have phoned you to say he was coming. Oh, no harm done. I'll pay him out now. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. Goodbye. Goodbye. It was uh, for me, Pat. Hey? Yeah, for me, yeah. Oh. <clears throat> well, now, have you got all the shots you want, Mr. Oh, West? Yes, thank and you. Yes, yeah. that uh, wraps it up, I think. Best of luck, Mr. Davenport. We'll give you a good ride, huh? Ah, thank you very much. Yes, goodbye to you. <laughs> yes, well, stop gawping, Jacko. Go on, get on with your work. Oh, Davenport. Oh, all right, all right. You can stop shaking. It's all over. I thought it was all up when he phoned. Yeah, good job I stayed here. Oh. Stop looking so guilty. You're like the man who stole the crown jewels. Hewitt saw me come in with this briefcase. He gave me a very funny look. Oh, imagination. Who's that? Let... Oh, calm down, will you? Uh, come in. Ah, the two partners in crime. Uh, would you come along with me, please? What for? You didn't think we'd let you walk out of here as if nothing had happened, did you? Uh, this way, please. Uh, oh, dear. Uh, well, I... How did they find out? I don't know, but don't admit anything. Leave the talking to me. Yeah, where are you taking us? After you. What the? You didn't think we'd let you get away without a little farewell party, gentlemen? Ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Let it on now. Let it on now. On behalf of us both, I'd like to thank you for the simply splendid pen and pencil set that you have given us. Oh. I don't know what Desmond will do with his, but uh, I shall always treasure mine. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And uh, we've got another surprise for you. A cake! Oh, I baked it and iced it myself, sir. Do you like the wording? Can you read it, Davenport? Uh, the smoke in here is affecting my eyes. Uh, to the two Ds, 35 
Glorious, yes. Very nice floor, that, yeah. yeah. It is smoky in here, isn't it? There's 35 candles to blow out. Oh, my goodness. Well, well come on, then. Desmond, help me now. You must make a wish. Uh, a wish, ah, yes. Well, now, wait a minute. Uh, may our sins never be found out. <laughs> oh, my and uh, my own little contribution. <laughs> A little wine, oh, I thought. Thank you. Uh, shall I pour, sir? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, well done, Peter. Right. <laughs> oh, can I tempt you with a sausage on a stick, sir? You could tempt me with nothing at all, Flo. <laughs> <laughs> How long shall we stay? Well, you won't go while there's any free drink left, surely. I find your cheap wit jarring at times, Davenport. I'm worried about that briefcase. It's just lying on your desk for anyone to take. Oh, relax. We're the only two crooks here. Oh, look at that pig Jackson knocking it back. <laughs> Having fun, Purse? Yes, thank you. Congratulations on your well-earned promotion. Well, come on, Desmond. Let's mingle, shall we? <laughs> oh, hello, Sally. <laughs> She's giggling again. <laughs> Damn nice of them to throw that party for us. Yes, but I could have done without Flo's cake. Ooh, it was like a lump of lead in my stomach. <laughs> I thought her tea was bad enough. Take our last look at the old sweatshop, shall we? Oh, yes. to my office and get the briefcase, would you? Then we'll go. Oh, Lord, yes. Where did you put it? Well, where you left it, on my desk. Well, it isn't there now. Have I got to do everything myself? That's funny. I told you we shouldn't have left it there. You were so clever. Well, has it fallen behind the chair? I've looked. Well, perhaps it's over on the... Oh. <gasps> Must you creep up on people like that, Jackson? I was not aware I was creeping up. What do you want? I want nothing. I'm moving my things into your office. I trust you have no objection. Have you taken anything from my desk? A briefcase? Yes. Where is it? Here. It's mine. Give it to me. Say please. <laughs> please. That's right. Weighs a ton. What have you got in it? Mind your own business. All right, come on, Desmond. It wouldn't hurt you to say thank you. Thank you for the briefcase and its contents. Without which, we would have gone without. Yes, well, you try and manage without us. I hope your books balance. Will you stop looking out of that back window, Desmond? No one's coming after us. What's that? Oh, the fire engine. Oh, I'm not cut out for this sort of thing, Davenport. It's going to be all right. In a week's time, we'll be out of the country. No one will ever find us. We should have taken that earlier boat. We've got all the time in the world. You know the way our accounts work. We've got a compensating error. It'll be months before they find us. I hope so. We've balanced the books, so Pentonville will be spared your piano playing. Oh. 18,000 pounds, eh? <laughs> oh, it's a nice round sum. And I wish Jacko had made a bigger error. Stupid fool. I wouldn't call him a fool. He may be a bit shifty, but I think he's a clever man. We're the clever ones for taking advantage of that fool's mistake. <laughs> you going to that pub again tonight? The pub? Will Rosie be there? Oh, eh? Davenport. <laughs> Next, please. Why, good morning, Mr. Jackson. Good morning. We don't usually see you in the bank this early. Oh, there's so much work to clear up. Oh, of course, the two old gentlemen retired yesterday, didn't they? I expect you'll miss them. Oh, yes. Uh, did our uh, Mr. Roberts phone you regarding the cash I have to collect? Mr. Roberts? Why, no, sir. Oh, well, that's my fault. I should have reminded him. I've, uh, I've got to take the bonus payments over to our Basildon Works. Ah, so would you 
cash this check, please? <laughs> Certainly, sir. How would you like it? Oh, <laughs> isn't there some mistake? Mistake? Why? Well, this check is for eighteen thousand pounds. Yes. Yesterday, Mr. Desmond cashed a check for the same amount. A briefcase. Well, if you'll just wait here, sir, I'll get our manager. He was dealing with it. Uh, no, no, leave it. I Thank think you. We should get this cleared no, up, please sir. Please don't bother, I mean, Thank Mr. You Jackson. Oh, can't you look stop him? Me. Stop! Oh, damn. What is it, Smith? Mr. Jackson of Webster, sir. He wanted to cash this. Uh, the devil he did. Are you calling the police, sir? No, oh, Mr. Roberts, their managing director. I never liked that man Jackson from the minute I clapped eyes on him. Something shifty about him. Now, Desmond and Davenport, different kettle of fish entirely. You could trust them implicitly. Ah, Mr. Roberts, please. The manager of Bennington's bank here...